Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, on the 16th of February, I did a video of these three tarantulas that molted, and plus I did a scorpion takedown of my Black Deathstalker. So that was a week ago, uh, time does fly. <laughs> so, I'm going to be feeding these three tarantulas today, and I've only got superworms and mealworms left. So let's take the lid off the first enclosure, and uh, let's see if they're hungry. So, first up, guys, is going to be my P. Lugardi, my female Fort Hall baboon. Now, I did say last week I'm going to be rehousing her into the same enclosure, but just with more substrate. So, I'll do that in the next couple of days. I want to give her a feed first. So, let's grab a nice large superworm and uh, let's see if she's hungry. So, ladies and gentlemen, that first attempt, she didn't seem that interested then. So, let's just try again. And if she's not hungry, there's not really much you can do about it. I'll uh, try her in the next couple of days. As long as tarantulas have got water, they can go, you know, a couple of months or a long time without food. And that's the only trouble with superworms. They like to or down in the substrate. So everyone, you can see the superworm just touching the spider and the spider's moving its leg. So I'll take the superworm out and uh, let's try the next spider. Next up guys is my unknown species. Now when I did that video last week, uh, I did say that this species could be a male and it could be a Lampropalma via Salopis. The colours were going very, very brown and it started to lose that blue coloration. So let's just quickly take the lid off and let's give it a feed. Here goes everybody. It's the smallest superworm I could find, but shouldn't have too much trouble taking it down. It's got to be around about the two inch leg span, so it's a fairly big tarantula. Hopefully we'll get our first attack. Oh, I think it's got it, I think. Yep, there we go. Unfortunately, everybody, that's the best footage I'm going to get, I'm afraid. It's right down into its burrow. And you can see the spinnerets just on the left-hand side. Or on the abdomen. So, yeah, it's nice to see a first attack. And let's go on to the last tarantula. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think you know who is last. He's going to be my E. Pacopus, my stout-legged baboon female. Absolutely beautiful colours. And she always eats, so I'll be very surprised if she doesn't. So, yeah, let's grab a superworm and uh, let's see her take it down. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I had a little feeling she was going to be hungry, and like I said, she has a very high appetite. And uh, you can see them amazing colours. I 
And like I said last week, she is around about the three, three and a half inch leg span. So I finally got an attack at last. Well, an attack that you can actually see in person. The first one wasn't hungry and the second one attacked its prey, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't get uh, much footage. So hopefully we're going to see some fang action. Some beautiful colours. Unfortunately, I can't do a time lapse because tarantulas do like to move around and settle in a dark place to eat their meal. It's okay with mantis. Mantis just seem to attack their prey and sit in one position and eat their food. It doesn't really matter if it's, you know, very, because a massive light or it's fairly dark. They don't seem too fussed about it. So everyone, as it's just said, I tried to get some fang action, but uh, unfortunately she keeps going back in her burrow. And it's probably because the light is a bit bright, but if there was no light, then you wouldn't be able to see nothing. So yeah, unfortunately no fang action today, guys, but uh, we have a takedown at last. So hopefully that abdomen will plump up a little bit and you can see her large chunky legs at the back. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. Uh, you don't really see these in the hobby much anymore. So I think I paid uh, £20 for her plus uh, £9 postage. So £29 was an absolute bargain for the female. So I think I'll leave her now to enjoy her meal. Uh, it's a little bit of a close-up of her colours. And thanks for watching, everyone.